in the care of the Shepherd Center. The hospital, which is right along Peachtree Road, it specializes in helping those with spinal cord and brain injuries. And for many, seeing the runners is a light of hope towards recovery. After running the race himself, Atlanta News First, Patrick Quinn sat down with one of Shepherd Center's patients today. Patrick, how was it? Oh, well, sitting down with this patient was awesome. The race was more of a struggle. I have the shirt, though, to prove it. And maybe the toughest part of this race this morning is this hill. And if you ran it, you know it. This is Cardiac Hill. It comes right smack dab in the middle of the race. It is just brutal. It tests a racer's lungs, stamina, mental toughness. But elite and everyday runners know for every step, they're not alone. The sound of support. This year, like the last 41 years, patients from the Shepherd Center line the sidewalk, urging runners up this section of Peachtree Road, nicknamed Cardiac Hill. It's the hardest point in the race, a quarter mile long with a 6% incline. Just past halfway of the world's largest 10K, racers get their most physical and mental test. But adversity has company, and these cheerleaders know about overcoming the odds. They're doing it every day. I couldn't even feel anything when I got here. Now I can feel all the way down to my ankles. So it's, it, this place is amazing, man, I'm telling you. Les Brindle is recovering from a severe car crash. And on this morning, the 61-year-old wasn't just giving, but receiving motivation. It's uh, inspiring, very inspiring. Those guys, man, how you come up that hill? Those guys are these guys, the wheelchair athletes in a race sponsored by the Shepherd Center, professionals pushing themselves through this 10 kilometer course and pushing others like Les along the way. You can't take days off and still do that. So it just means I can't take any days off either. Les hopes to one day walk again. He knows full motion is not guaranteed, but with some newfound inspiration, it's his hill to now climb. Gotta get better. The only way you can is hard work. And so when you see people that work that hard, what I'm doing really isn't that hard compared to what they're doing. And Les is an Army veteran. He'll be discharged from inpatient care next week. He will then move into the day program here at the Shepherd Center. Worth noting, the Shepherd Center, they're set to add 48 more beds next year for extended care. We're live along Cardiac Hill, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First.